Gargoyle is here with John Vanderslice tonight. He's performing a show at Cafe 11. What was the transition like moving from Gainesville to LA? Well, that was, um, that was really hard because I had never been to the West Coast before. And I remember actually driving over the mountains and then getting into Riverside, California, um, which is in the eastern side of Southern California, on the eastern side of the Inland Empire. And I just thought, man, this is a weird world. This is a weird place. So different. And it was like, I don't know, L.A. at that time was like, felt like, to me, it felt like, and, you know, I was living in a terrible part of, of East Hollywood, and it was dirtier sky, and it felt like the end of the world for me at that point. It was probably also the people I was hang friends with, and I was a waiter. I don't know. I didn't really have, like, a healthy social scene. <laughs> Everyone, I dearly and sincerely need you to step forward, or this m music stuff cannot commence. That was fantastic. That's, man, this is commitment. This is beautiful. You know, I, I run a studio, so I see bands making records all the time under different circumstances, and I would say that it's completely random. Like, some bands function quite well when they're at the most stable periods of their life, and other bands need some kind of um, destabilizing emotional um, content to, to, like, include in their music. I, I would rather be happier. I mean, I'm happy now, but it's it's really hard to write when you're sad. The The important thing for me was that when you can function at your weakest point, you feel like that you're a little bit more invincible. You know, you're not invincible. Yeah, you feel like you can survive. You know? I d got a degree in uh, economics, and I wanted to, like, I don't know. I didn't want to be a musician. I wanted to be like a teacher. You know what I mean? Like I didn't even think about being. I wanted to be like a school teacher. I was really lucky. I was on Barsook for eight years, and then I was on Dead Oceans for four years. I mean, I had a great run on labels. You know, I mean, it was awesome and then I just felt like it should be risk my life should be riskier again it felt really risky to um, go out on my own and put out my own records and so I, it is yeah in San Francisco so I just woke up one day and I thought you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna do it on my own I'm gonna ask my label to let me go and they were hey, they're a great label they let me do what I wanted you miss the support, you miss the friendships, but th this is what I wanted to do, so I'm, 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 I'm happy that I did it, you know? My uh, parents were divorced when I was very young, and I was just really brought up by my mom, and she was incredibly supportive, but she was also like a you know, full-time working single mother with two kids, two crazy kids, like two, two boys, yeah, man, we were nuts. And we were like running, we were just running wild, you know? I mean, I lived in Jacksonville from when I was three to 11, and so it just felt like we just were alone all day long, you know? Like my mom got home at like six, seven, eight o'clock at night, and like, it felt great. It felt dangerous. It felt like freedom too, you know? And I think I've, I've really, always been like super restless I'm like a great traveler and I really I really like um, being on the road and being out like like backcountry camping or I just like exploring stuff and I, I think I grew up with that you know because it's wild like Florida's wild you know and I, I grew up being outside all the time and it was great because I'll see you next fall at another current show 